Hello, hello, and welcome back. Carl Sussman here, Insurance Hour. Again, we are with our good friend, Assemblyman Lackey, and we are talking about insurance issues right now. We're going to talk about the sustainable insurance strategy, and this is something that you've probably been hearing about. This is something that's supposed to help the industry, jumpstart the industry, get the private insurance carriers back to market. So Assemblyman, you, you've heard about this, no doubt. What is your personal feeling? What are you hearing from your constituents about it, if anything? And what are people here in Sacramento talking about? What do they think about this? Well, the sustainable insurance strategy, I think there's more questions than there are answers when it comes to that. It's a goal. It's a goal that we're trying to arrive at, and no one knows how to get there. Um, I, as you saw last year, towards the very end of the year, there was a legislative effort to try to get involved, and it turned into be a real disastrous uh, set of circumstances that are very complex to, to explain. I won't try to do that, but I will tell you that uh, this problem has definitely got the attention of the legislature. Um, but we, are, we have a person called an insurance commissioner, right, that has this responsibility to manage this, and he's not supposed to rely on the legislature, maybe as a partner, but we're not going to be the sole driver of the answer because this is a very, very complicated issue that has to do with economics, it has to do with risk, it has to do with a lot of unpredictability. And the only thing that's predictable is that we're in trouble, right? And we've got to figure this out because we've kind of been procrastinating uh, to the point that it's making it more difficult. The longer we wait to arrive at some solution, the more difficult it's becoming. And so, and it's, it touches everybody's life. Uh, everybody has to have a residence that they live in and especially if you're a homeowner, if you're one of the fortunate ones, at least it's supposed to be fortunate, uh, you, you know that this is a real problem. And so when we have this uh, strategy, we know that insurance companies have been uh, told that they are to accept a minimum of 85% of applications in the affected areas to uh, depopulate the fair plan. So we're trying to tell insurance companies what they have to do, and they'll do it. But guess what? The cost is going to be, I don't know if it's sustainable. I don't even know if it's doable. And so I don't know. We need to be honest with people. Um, and so there, there seems to be a disconnect between honesty and, and ability to manage it. And so we have a very, very serious uh, set of circumstances before us. Uh, but the overall goal is, is to increase the availability of affordable insurance. Right? That's the simple truth. And that's what uh, this strategy is supposed to help us accomplish. I think what's interesting that you said is that it's not the job of the legislature to deal with this, support it or not, but it's not their job to come up with the solutions. It's the elected insurance commissioner that we have. That's correct. So what do you think about the elected governor taking part in trying to promote parts of, at least the first part of the sustainable insurance strategy in the trailer bill that we're, we're waiting for to see how it's going to come through? It depends. It depends, right? I have no problem with anybody trying to help, right? I mean, I, I, I feel like partnership needs to be part of the solution. But primary responsibility, we can talk about what that is. I think it's very simple. It should come from the commissioner, but he obviously is, is crying for help. And so we should run to offer assistance. And, but how we arrive at that is not so simple. It's, it's very, very complex. And uh, however, the urgency is becoming more and more acutely uh, obvious because of, look at what's happening right now. The fire season is upon us already. And so people are already potentially going to have claims. And without the insurance, we've got real catastrophes. It's not something that the state should be picking up the dime for. It's something that the state should be trying to promote industry to find a way to be able to provide coverage for. If I, if I can summarize what yeah, I Yeah, partnership right is what we should be. Right, right. Now, the sustainable insurance strategy, as you're, as you're describing, does have certain goals, as it, it does, says, right? It does. Goals are to have the private industry right in 85% of distressed areas, which are not just fire, high fire risk areas. They're areas of economic challenge. For example, part of that 85% encompasses areas where the premium to income ratio is off. What do you think? Rural, of rural, just spell it R-U-R-A-L. That's what we're talking about here. Right. 
Do you think that that's fair? Do you think that's the right way to be looking at it, or should we be trying to keep things more homogenous, or just give the carrier sort of a free for all? What's the? I mean, that's I know the these great are debate. extremes. Yeah, that's the great debate. And what is fair to one is not fair to another. So that's a very hard thing to arrive at fairness. What what we need is something that's manageable, right? Something that's realistic, something that will actually uh, arrive at what is necessary. You know, provide the necessary protection at some reasonable cost, and that sounds simple, but it's not. And measuring risk is something that it's very, very difficult to do. But you definitely have those who are more prone to risk versus those who are not, and a lot of times those are the people that have the least amount of ability to pay. So therein lies the dilemma, and it's a very real one, and it's very hurtful. It's very, it's having very, very um, I don't know, devastating circumstances. And people are worried, and they should be worried, and uh, we should try to mitigate that worry. Commissioner Lara, in one of the conferences or open forums, had used a, a, a phrase. He said that their goal right now is, is um, availability before affordability. And I, I take that to mean it's let's get the companies to write, and then we'll worry about competition doing what we know it will do, which is to, is to push rates down when you have more competition we have lower prices right now where there basically is no competition in the market. We don't, for all intents and purposes, have an insurance marketplace for property insurance in California. If you call 100 carriers right now and ask for a proposal, you're going to get 98 of those 100 probably not even say they can help you. The other two, one might not call you back and the last one might say, I can try and get you the fair plan. It, it's, it's really that dire. It's at a crisis level for sure. It is. And so do you think that there's ways to have the insurance industry, I say, solve the problem. But do you think by having a robust set of competition in the state for property insurance, that's a possible solution for, for getting affordable coverage for people? It's clearly got to be a goal to try to accomplish that. I mean, because that's just a, a pragmatic uh, set of rules, right? Supply and demand is a real thing. and uh, It's not I, political? Well, some people try to make it so, and it's unfortunate because it's just a natural phenomenon that, uh, yeah, I, it's like gravity. It's something you really can't argue with. It's just going to happen, hopefully. And uh, this whole situation is becoming so difficult because it's not rooted in fairness, right? It's, it's rooted in something much deeper. And uh, that's what makes it so hard to swallow and I, I think it's what's kept us from taking the appropriate steps uh, prior to now. As you, you have consumer groups that are trying to protect the interests of the consumer. And that's a natural thing to want to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm not here to speak against that. But a lot of times it, it keeps um, political people from doing what needs to be done. And it hold, seems like that's what's happened. Hold, hold that thought. I want to talk about that a little bit more about the information that we're getting and where we're getting it from and how different that information can be. Okay. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, let's talk about some of those consumer groups and some of the information that's being put out there right now. Very good. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video.